our weather for Christmas looking quite chilly for us. Let's bring back Robert. OK, how cold are the holidays going to get for us, Robert? Oh, it's going to get uh, pretty cold. It, it'll feel very cold. That's that's the key word. Air temperatures won't be that bad, but those winds are going to make things really, really rough out there, at least tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. That's why we've decided to go ahead and make tomorrow an action day out there. Because we've got the much colder air moving in, it's still going to be windy. You add those two together, and you're going to have wind chills tomorrow in the single digits and teens, especially across northwest Arkansas. Temperatures right now, they are still relatively cold. The cold air still is continuing to come in behind that cold front, but already in the upper 20s across northwest Arkansas, mid-30s across the River Valley. We take a look at those winds. They are still gusty out there. Just had a recent gust of 33 in Fayetteville, 31 in the mountains south of the River Valley there in uh, Boonville. Rogers still a gust of 28, so it is still blowing around and it will continue to blow around. These are the current wind chills. This is what it feels like to the exposed skin. Mid to upper teens across northwest Arkansas, mid 20s across the River Valley. So let's time out some of these wind chills here as we go through the overnight hours. You can see as we put this into motion, you know, it's saying that here in the next half hour or so we'll have wind chills in the lower teens. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, maybe you've got to do some last minute shopping. Nine is what it could feel like in Huntsville, 10 in Eureka Springs. Not much better in the River Valley, only in the upper teens and lower 20s by 8 a.m about the same it is going to be a cold cold day out there tomorrow even by the afternoon and evening hours it remains very very frosty out there so remember the heavy jacket the gloves the hat make sure you cover up all that exposed skin and these winds are because of this massive storm system we have across the upper midwest uh, i have seen videos on social media of blizzard conditions in and around the twin cities of Minneapolis, St. Paul, and blizzard warnings remain in effect for a large part of the upper Midwest. Thankfully, nothing like that here, just cold temperatures here over the next couple of days. We'll time this out. There's that cold front. It will continue to press off well to the east, leaving us with clear skies, but notice our wind streams that'll come into the picture here with those frigid conditions, ushering in much colder air uh, over the next couple of days. Lots of sunshine though, but very, very, very cold conditions. Lows tomorrow morning will be stuck in the lower 20s across northwest Arkansas, mid to upper 20s across the River Valley. We won't rebound much tomorrow, mostly in the mid to upper 30s and mid 40s across the River Valley. Here's a look at your extended forecast for northwest Arkansas. Again, a very cold Thursday, Friday. Then we rebound for the weekend. So if you're taking some of those packages back to the stores, weather should cooperate. And we fall off a little bit as we head toward early next week with the chance for a few showers Tuesday and Wednesday. May even have a thunderstorm mixed in there Tuesday or Wednesday. That's something we're watching. River Valley seven day, lots of sunshine, but colder temperatures into the 60s by the weekend. That'll feel, it'll feel really warm compared to what we're dealing with right now. And then more clouds in the chance for a few showers make their way in for middle of next week. So a cold Christmas, but a dry one, Allison. All right. Well, the sun will be out, so that's something to celebrate.